Wild Outdoor Adventures is presented by Trophy Blend. It's their environment. Blend in. Hey folks, that's just gorgeous up there, isn't it? Hello, I'm Rick Young, and welcome to Wild Outdoor Adventures, where we hunt big game all over the world. Well, this week, I hope you stick around for the next 30 minutes as we're gonna pursue Rocky Mountain Goat up in beautiful British Columbia. We're gonna be hunting with Wendy and Darwin Carey of Scoop Lake Outfitters. Joining me on the hunt this week is Jim Warwick from Gerber Legendary Blades. We're about to saddle up and head up the mountain, so stick around, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. This portion of Wild Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by Night Rifles, born to hunt, and GunsInternational.com, bringing gun buyers and sellers together the easy way. This portion of Wild Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by Gerber. Fend for yourself. Folks, check this sign out. This says it all. Hunting area 4,000 square miles, huh? Is that a big area or what? And look at all the species. Unfortunately, we're not hunting them all at one time, but we are hunting for mountain goat. And I really like to introduce you to Darwin Carey, owner and operator of Scoop Lake Outfitters. Darwin, how long have you been in operation? We've been at Scoop Lake for 15 years. I actually grew up in the industry. My parents actually had the, the neighboring area starting back in 1959, and they retired in 1982. When we came into camp, I noticed this was a family operation from the word go. Very much so. My wife and two daughters uh, and myself, we come up here in late May, and we're here till mid-October, and uh, you know, they partake in all parts of the operation. We're fortunate to have a great staff. Most of my crew have been with me for eight, 10 years or more. Oh, that says a lot right there. Yeah. And on the uh, stone sheep, which is a really tough species to get, what kind of success rate would you have on something like that? Well, we have a lot of repeat clients and uh, overall we probably run 80% success. Majority of hunters have an opportunity on a sheep, but uh, you know we have a lot of repeat clients that are looking for something bigger and better than what they already have. With a little bit of organization, you got your license and tag waiting for you in camp. Looking forward to taking you guys goat hunting. Hopefully we can have a little success. We generally run about 95% success. Okay. So if you guys are lucky, we'll get a good one. <laughs> Folks, let's get the hunt started. After a fantastic tour like that, we arrive in camp. Our cook, Danelli Olofsson, asks if there are any special requests for dinner, the and the next again. morning, we're off on our hunt. Oh, my life's over. I'm on the trail As we again. saddled up and headed out of camp to begin our quest for mountain goat, I have to tell you folks back home that if you have any fears of horses, 
rest assured that they put you on good, steady, calm horses up here that have age and experience on the trail. It's going to be a safe ride for you. Now be sure and bring lots of film or a digital camera, maybe with a backup battery, to record your moments. Hope you're enjoying the show this week, folks. I really want to take a moment and talk about Gerber Legendary Blades. And what better opportunity than when Jim Warwick right here, who's in charge of new product development. Jim, you guys have really shot up in the last few years on number of SKUs or the number of items, and they've been a hit with a lot of the hunters. Well, you know, we're always looking for the next innovative thing. You know, a couple years ago, we introduced the carnivore light, and it was a big hit for us. It was a blood tracking light using different LED bulbs and things like that. And, right. you know, we're just always looking to try to stay innovative and try to stay ahead of the curve. So, and really trying to give hunters things that they want, you know, field tested, proven, those type of activities and items. Well, as Garth has brought us up here, down from below on the river, we're working our way up the draw. Still on horses, fortunately, for all of us. And uh, he spotted another one up here in the grass, up here on the right. And he's got a group here to the left uh, in the trees right there. We still haven't reached the destination where we're headed for, which is on, on the top. But uh, if we can get an easy one, we'd take that. What do you think, Jim? Is that doable up there? It looks like it should be. It's going to take us a while to get there. <laughs> but this looks like a young, a young goat here on the right. Garth's got that pretty well pegged out. The ones on the left here, I'm not sure what we have there. You got a good look at those? Yeah, it looks like his nannies and kids. Well, folks, every hunt we go on, there's always a little bit of drama. And last couple days rain pushed a mudslide down and we finally got around it this is the beginning of it and it gets much worse as you go further down we ended up bottoming the horses out in the mud and trailing them up on the ridge and bringing them around the mudslide and, and uh, we're finally back on track right now and we're going to work back up and around and get on this ridge but uh, it's an event we didn't foresee it cost us a little bit of time but we're still on track huh yeah we're still on track we Cost a little bit of time, like I said, but we still got plenty of time to make it up on the ridge and go get our goat. As our team ascends the hill, it looks like a pretty tough climb, but I really got to be honest with you. We're doing it at a slow pace and a pace that matches the hunter's capability. The guides here are real good at figuring out your ability. And there was a 74-year-old guy that made the same climb we did not this week, but the week before. He went up, he harvested a goat. So I guess a guy at 74 could do this. You probably could as well. We bumped a billy goat out. He was up above us here, but nothing we could do about it. Car says there's plenty more where that one come from. This portion of Wild Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by Burris Optics. Just right. Hunt like you mean it. This portion of Wild Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by CZ USA, hunting and sporting firearms. I told you before we were almost there, but I think I made that up because we're still not there. My four wheel drive unit went out a long time ago. I think the clutches in my rear end are slipping. They keep saying we're almost there. The crew looks like they're wasted, totally tired, but that's that's not real. These guys are full of energy. They just, they're sandbagging on me right now because they're saving it for when we get to the top. The smiles are getting smaller and smaller though. Horses are the only smart ones. They're still at the bottom. But all in all, it really hadn't been too bad. A little bit more and we'll be over the top. We'll be looking down on some goats and Jim's gonna, gonna put one to rest. Problem's gonna be getting one where we can 
they're all over that hillside. That big boy, he's climbing that rock wall. Hopefully he'll go up there and just bed down on top. We can come around. This little backpacker tripod right here. This little baby here is pretty handy. It doesn't take up any space in your pack. Now, it's not for every application for up on rocks and stuff and looking though it's pretty handy. Can't complain about the weight if you know what I mean. Alright, and our Billy wasn't spooked. He just knew something's up with the nannies going across. So I think what we'll do, we'll cut over to the back side of this ridge and sneak our way along and get up above them again and try to get and close them off. And see if we can get a shot. On our way up here you spotted just a handful of goats on the back side as well. Yeah. There's a good chance we're going to bump into more as we go over this top, so it's not our only option. Jim could have smoked that goat right where he was sitting, but it was pretty ugly down there. Yeah, it's a little too treacherous. Yeah. We could kill him, but getting him back up, yeah, that might be the, the biggest problem. Well, considering that's your job. <laughs> Let's take a little tour of Scoop Lake's main camp. There are multiple cabins to accommodate all the hunters. Great cooking facilities, and here you'll see they have their own garden to grow some vegetables. And in addition, they've got what I like to call is their bunker, it's their root cellar. You can see that these guys are set up to accommodate their hunters with the finest of food. Now, about the time you've gotten comfortable at Scoop Lake's main lodge, you've sighted in your rifle and you're ready to go hunting, they'll load you back up on another plane and they're gonna fly you out to one of 28 different spike camps. And while you're on your hunt at Scoop Lake Outfitters, you might want to pick up a fishing license. They're not that expensive. There's a really good opportunity for you to bag out early on your species and have a few extra days to kill. And they've got some world-class fishing here. Fantastic place to be. The scenics are awesome. I hope you enjoy this week's hunt because I know we are. Do you think we could see him a little better? you think Jim could get a better shot from that rock? I think it's a fairly easy sneak down this ridge. It's pretty quiet. If we eased our way down there, if we, even if we couldn't get it from the first one, possibly we could go further over to the right, onto the second bump, and shoot back into there. And definitely be close. Yeah. The problem with that, there's at least three goats down there for sure, maybe four. And if we bump into one of the other ones, we might have a, a gong show down there. Get down on that bump down there, it could get pretty western. We don't know how many goats are in there or which direction they're gonna run. It could be a shootout at the OK Corral. We might fill both tags at one time. Sneak up here and enjoy the shot. Yeah, yeah, he looks like the better one. Yeah, I think he's the bigger one. Okay, he's gonna come out and clear again. Okay, there he is. You got him. You hit him that time. Yeah. 
He's the other one. I'll go watch him. Okay. Nice shot, Jim Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my God, look at that other one. There's another one there, Mick. Comes out up. There comes another one. Ah. Yeah, I'll wait for him to come to the next opening. Garth, you give me the word. Yeah, he looks pretty good, Rick. <sighs> Can't see him. Can you that believe great. that? A double. Great shoot, you guys. Awesome. Man, Good thank job. you. That was awesome on your part. I had never planned on a double at all. With those trees like that, you know, I figured we'd be out here beating oh, yeah. a bush for a couple more days, but the sun's going down. We're not going to get back to those horses before dark. Yeah, tonight. It's going to be a late night tonight. Yeah. Late night, but you know what? It's success, baby. We can sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> This portion of Wild Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by Sitka, specialized wear and equipment, and Federal Premium Ammunition. Every shot counts. Wild Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by Trophy Blend, Night Rifles, SCI, CZUSA, GunsInternational.com Federal Premium Ammunition Sitka Burris Optics and Gerber A little bit of wool hanging on the bushes around here, huh? There's a couple places you can make yourself a blanket. I think this is Goat Hotel right here. Maybe keep a trigger man wide here so we can uh, see if that one tries to make a, a go for it. Folks, we drug this beautiful Billy out of the shade so you could take a good look at it. And Jim, buddy, I couldn't be more proud of you. Rick, I appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. That this was, is awesome. That was, that was just... Thank you very much. What a moment. This is awesome. My first goat ever. Folks, look at this wool, it's coming on. We're on a we're on an early hunt here, August 26th, and he's already got good hair. That'll tell you we're up here in some altitude where the weather gets cold, <laughs> so you want to bring an extra jacket. But uh, we've got some great horn lengths and some really good mass. Jim, I don't know if you've ever had a chance to look at the hooves or not. I know it's your first goat, but this is this is common knowledge with anybody that's hunted goats, and by gosh, we want to make sure you get out of here knowing this. See how this is so soft inside of here? Yeah. And now feel this rigid edge around the outside. Wow. That's what gives them their traction on the rigid edge, and the softness keeps them from slipping. Amazing. Isn't it? <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah. And... Uh, these goats are actually, believe it or not, a member of the antelope family, not the goat family, and native to North America only. Very it's nice. a great species. This animal is going to look just fantastic as a full body mount on Jim's trophy yes, room. It <laughs> Listen, we're not done. I've still got another goat around the corner, so before it gets dark, let's go take a look at it. About the trip over. What do you think, folks? This is another beautiful goat, huh? We worked long and hard for a great combo like that. Yeah, Rick, it's not very often that we get two goats in the same hunt, but uh, that pocket of billies, there, there was at least six of them that come out of that bunch, and we tried to pick out the best two, and hopefully that's what we accomplished. I think beautiful goats, nice goats. They are, and, and I hadn't even planned on shooting, and I snuck down there next to Jimmy just in case there was a western shootout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and and when that other Billy, this Billy came into the pictures, you guys all said, hey, that, that Billy's a good Billy. And I thought, oh, geez, it's the end of the hunt right here. It's all over. <laughs> but you know what? It's a steep mountain, and yeah. this is good for me, baby. Garth, my man, one more time. I need to shake your hand. It was an awesome hunt, huh? That no, was a good day. Thanks again, Mark. You've been a great help in camp and up here on the mountain. No problem. And Jimmy, buddy, 
<laughs> we doubled. You, we doubled. <laughs> uh, great memories here, folks. We're with Scoop Lake Outfitters up in British Columbia. It doesn't get any better. License and tags over the counter. Phone number's running on the screen. You want to give them a call and book your hunt. Check availability. From all of us at Wild Outdoor Adventures, whatever your game, have a great season.